Assalamu alaikum in today's video we are looking at another game of Mikhail Tal which he played against his student Oleg Romanishin in this game Mikhail Tal was playing as a white so he started the game with e4 e5 knight to f3 knight to c6 bishop to b5 Ruy Lopez opening a6 bishop to a4 knight to f6 short castle bishop to e7 and rook to e1 rook to e1 centralize the rook and defend this e4 pawn b5 bishop to b3 d6 c3 c3 makes the room for this bishop to go on the c2 and defend this e5 pawn and c3 also prepares this move d4 so black played short castle h3 h3 is quite important uh, move in this position because this stop this light square bishop from uh, developing to this g4 square and pinning this knight to this queen so after this black played bishop to b7 fianchito his bishop d4 rook to e8 knight b to d2 and bishop to f8 a3 h6 bishop to c2 defend this e5 pawn and knight to b8 b4 knight b to d7 and bishop to b2 c5 and now black is opening lines by force because i think he just wanted to start the middle game so b captures on c5 d captures on c5 and d captures on e5 attacking the knight on f6 instead of capturing this pawn black played a uh, knight to h5 c4 knight to f4 uh, knight to f4 is a good move because now this uh, knight is developed on a very good square and it is quite safe there so after that white played c captures on b5 a captures on b5 and a4 again mikhail tal is going for the trade so queen to b6 a captures on b5 now mikhail tal just wanted to trade the rooks but black denies it by playing rook a to d8 and now bishop to c3 uh, bishop to c3 creates the threat of bishop to a5 uh, skewing this uh, queen with this rook so that's why black played in this position queen to g6 uh, giving a checkmate threat on the next move so that's why mikhail tal played knight to h4 uh, attacking the queen and at the same time defending this g2 checkmate square so black played queen to g5 and now the simple threat is knight captures on h3 because this g2 uh, pawn is pinned by this queen so after that mikhail tal played queen to g4 simply uh, offering the queen trade and as a student i think the black knows that mikhail tal can be very dangerous with queen so that's why he just straight away accept the trade queen captures on g4 h captures on g4 and knight captures on e5 after that mikhail tal played a uh, rook to a7 it's a very strong move because uh, mikhail tal has placed his rook on the seventh rank uh, with the tempo by attacking this bishop and this rook can be uh, very helpful in the future when mikhail tal wants to push this b pawn so after that black played bishop to c8 saving his bishop bishop to b3 attacks this pawn on f7 so now black played a uh, rook to d7 attacking this this uh, rook and also defending this f7 pawn uh, instead of capturing this rook mikhail tal played b6 which is a very strong move advancing his pawn while also defending his rook on a7 uh, black cannot capture this uh, rook because of uh, b captures on a7 and this pawn on a7 can be quite powerful so that's why he played a uh, rook to b7 and now mikhail tal played a very good move uh, bishop captures on e5 uh, it forces the rook to play uh, rook captures on e5 and after that mikhail tal played knight to c4 attacks the rook and if rook goes to e8 then knight to f5 and the both knights are uh, coming to this d6 square and it is totally winning for mikhail tal that's why black played uh, rook e to e7 and now mikhail tal played uh, knight to d6 attacking this rook and this bishop now black has two choices uh, let mikhail tal promote his pawn to the queen and the other one is to give up on bishop and obviously he give up on bishop by playing rook captures on a7 b captures on a7 rook captures on a7 and knight captures on c8 and that's how mikhail tal uh, win the bishop so now rook to c7 attacking the knight and knight to b6 every player know that after this move uh, black would obviously play uh, rook to b7 and attack this both pieces this knight and this bishop and if mikhail tal had played this move knight to b6 then there would be a reason black played in this position rook to b7 attacking this both 
pieces and Mikhail Tal saved these both pieces with a great move a uh, rook to b1 and now you cannot capture this knight because of bishop captures on f7 and after king captures on f7 rook captures on b6 is a winning for Mikhail Tal because Mikhail Tal has a powerful rook against this bishop and that is totally winning for him so that's why black didn't play rook captures on uh, b6 black played uh, c4 attacking the bishop and Mikhail Tal played knight captures on c4 if you play bishop captures on c4 then bishop to c5 is again winning for black so that's why Mikhail Tal uh, captured this pawn with the knight after knight captures on c4 this position was totally winning for Mikhail Tal but the black was still uh, looking for some chances knight to e2 check king to f1 knight to c3 attacking the rook and rook to b2 after rook to b2 black resigned in this position because the best move for the black is knight captures on e4 and now Mikhail Tal would play bishop to c2 attacking this knight and also uh, attacking this rook so it's forced to play rook captures on b2 knight captures on b2 and after uh, let's say knight to f6 this position is totally winning for Mikhail Tal and that was the reason black resigned in this game so I hope you like this brilliant game of Mikhail Tal and if you like it please like this video subscribe to this channel to get more amazing and inspiring content.